What's up guys? I'm super excited because our open broadcaster software plugin for the PTZ Optics cameras is now available for Windows and Mac. Let's check it out. The PTZ Optics OBS camera control plugin is now available for both Mac and PC computers. Notable features include the ability to control up to eight PTZ Optics cameras over an IP connection. Users can select to control cameras with the included compact controller, an Xbox joystick, or hotkeys on their keyboard. Currently, the Xbox joystick and hotkeys control are only working with the PC version of this plugin. Our developers are aware that our Mac Mac users would like these features and are actively working to implement them. In compact mode, users have the ability to quickly switch between eight cameras and select between nine presets for each. In advanced mode, users can select custom camera pan, tilt, and zoom speeds and adjust settings such as exposure, luminance, and white balance. In the settings area, users can select up to eight PTZ Optics cameras by entering the static IP address and entering a custom name for each. Once your cameras have been entered into the settings area, you can select a camera simply by clicking the camera's name on the main control panel. This application will save all of your camera's presets and immediately set up the interface for the camera that you would like to control. If you would like to automatically recall a PTZ camera preset when you click on a scene inside OBS, you can do so using a web browser input. PTZ Optics has recently published a new list of HTTP camera commands that are available for use with OBS. These new HTTP HTTP camera control commands allow OBS users to automate camera pan, tilt, and zoom movements based on a selected OBS scene. In this way, you can simply enter a web browser input source into OBS with an HTTP string to trigger a specific PTZ camera preset. To do this, simply create a browser input and in the URL area, input the HTTP command, which includes your camera's IP address and the PTZ preset number. For example, our camera here has the IP address of 192.168.1.67. So the HTTP command for recalling a preset would then be HTTP colon slash slash our camera's IP address, the string, and then the position number. You can then use this HTTP command with multiple cameras and multiple PTZ preset numbers by replacing the variables used in this command string. Make sure to select the refresh browser when the scene becomes active option in the OBS browser source options to make sure that the command is sent each time your scene switches. You can download the full HTTP command list from ptzoptics.com slash downloads. The additional input settings area in the plugin allows users to enable their Xbox joystick for control of the cameras. This is also where you can enable hotkeys, which will create new entries for use with the OBS hotkeys menu. These features are coming to our Mac plugin soon. Finally, if you are looking for a way to gain a live preview of your PTZ Optics camera over IP, inside of OBS, you have two options. If your camera is an NDI model, you can simply download and install the NDI plugin for OBS and automatically discover it with the NDI source option. If you want to use RTSP, we recommend connecting via the VLC Media Player input option. Once you install VLC Media Player onto your computer, you will automatically see the VLC video source as an option in your OBS sources menu. Once your VLC media input is open, click the plus button on the right and select add path URL. Here, you can enter the RTSP address for your camera. Generally, this looks like RTSP colon slash slash the IP address of your camera slash one. Before clicking OK, leave loop playlist checked and always play even when not visible on. You may find that your cameras have a one or two seconds of delay. For more reliable and lower latency IP video connectivity, you may want to look into the NDI network device interface cameras, and sources which are covered in more detail in other videos that we have available. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions about our OBS plugin for the PTZ Optics camera line. There is an active Facebook user group that you can use to reach out to fellow live streamers on facebook.com slash groups slash PTZ Optics pals. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for new updates on our Mac plugin coming soon.